Hello YouTube, my name's Paul, and I'm about to take you on a journey of how I built my game room from start to finish. And as you can see, I don't have anything right now. It's just, it's blank. So I had to figure out what I needed. The first thing I wanted was a shelf. So I couldn't find a shelf that I wanted, so I made up a blueprint right here and then just built my own. I grabbed uh, some, I grabbed the wood, I cut the wood, I primed it, I painted it, and then I added clear coat on the wood. So that way it would be a nice finished shine. And then after the wood was ready, I assembled it and put it all together, screwing it with some wood glue. Little did I know that the PS2 games would be too heavy and it created a little bit of a bow. I would have added more support, didn't realize how heavy PS2 games were. But the reason why I made a shelf was because I wanted it, that's what I wanted. I wanted it to look like that, so I made it. And that's one of the best parts. And here, once so, the shelf's made, here's all the games on the shelf, that's part two. Part three is now uh, correctly hooking up every single console all together with some pretty good cable management, which was difficult. I pretty much took, completely took apart the existing setup and then redid it, separating each console's AV and all their power, like separating them all together. And then the reason for that is because we wall mounted um, all the power, all the AV, because it's an S-Video gaming setup. So now to wall mount it all. Now that we have it all separated and organized from underneath, so the first step for wall mounting is uh, making the brackets to hang the things on the wall. And I actually got this idea from a video that the 8-bit guy did where um, he wall mounts everything and he makes it look really beautiful. And the way he does it is he just takes a galvanized steel wire and then uh, bends it into be a little bracket and then bends it around whatever he wants to wall mount and then screws it to the wall. And I found that this works excellently. It's very, very good. So I made all the brackets for all the different little pieces that I wanted to put on the wall. And the reason why I wanted to wall mount everything was because it's, um, it's an S-Video gaming setup that all records everything in S-Video. Some RGB, some VGA, but mainly it's all S-Video. And I wanna record everything in S-Video to make YouTube videos. I actually did a YouTube video all about S-Video itself. And um, so, so now that we have the brackets made for everything that's gonna get screwed to the wall, here we had to wall mount the, um, the power strips. And most power strips have holes on the bottom of them for them to be wall mounted. So all you gotta do is take a piece of paper and just punch a hole where each hole is and then screw that piece of paper to the wall and then you'll have the mounts to just slip it onto the wall. And that works very, very well. So that's the base of it. And the reason why, like I said, I wanted to wall mount everything because I record every single thing I play. Every game that I play gets recorded to my computer so I can you know, build up a huge log of all this gameplay footage and then make YouTube videos out of it because that's so much fun. It's like the most fun and that's why I went on this journey of building my own game room to have fun, to enjoy my games. And I've come a very long way. Like if you watch one of my earlier videos, you'll see the way I'm displaying my games versus um, also you'll see I've gotten better at making the videos themselves and I've also gotten better at games in my opinion. <laughs> but uh, it's like I said, it's all a journey and it's the journey that you take to have fun. And this is fun to me is not only just playing the games, but getting to do something extra with the games, like making videos about them in whatever way. That's fun and that's what I enjoy. So that, that was like my fuel, my motivation behind all this. And I also have the repair shop and the mod shop where I do a lot of repairs for people and I also do a lot of mods and I do a lot of uh, repairs for my uh, retro game stores in my state, Retro Games Plus. So uh, always busy, but it, since it's all with video games, it's all a lot of fun. So here is actually wall mounting everything individually where it's just a zip tie around a wire and then once you put the zip ties around the wire, you screw it to the wall. And we did, it's not a specific design. This is literally random, like where all the wires are. I just didn't want there to be any slack. I didn't want there to be any slack and I wanted everything hooked up together and never have to you know, pull a wire out or do anything like that. And even mounting the PS2 power brick to the wall. And then uh, here comes all the, the whole S-Video gaming setup. 
It's done by switcher boxes and then S video to HDMI converter boxes and then VGA to HDMI boxes and then there's a SCART uh, to HDMI box as well. That's not wall mounted, it's underneath the CRT. I don't know, there's a bunch of stuff that's gonna go underneath the CRT. But, so yeah, so this was, this was wall mounting everything. Like I said, no specific pattern. And then this was uh, the testing phase of putting it back and then making sure everything had enough slack to be connected before adding the final zip ties on it all. And then we pushed it all together. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed and I hope this gave you some hints. I do a lot of other videos. Subscribe uh, so you can check out what other videos I do. Check out uh, the other videos themselves. And uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.